what is BBS or FS416 all about? In a nutshell, what we're going to be doing is looking at processes and the variation of that process. And to give you an example, let's consider the three gallon tubs of ice cream that are processed downstairs in Shab Hall in the Howling Cow Dairy Processing Plant. They sell three gallon tubs, and of course they want to stay above that because otherwise they'll get in trouble if they're selling two gallons of ice cream for a three gallon price. They have some sort of variation right now. And what we're going to, what we could try to do is to try to minimize that variation for obvious reasons. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to follow the Six Sigma process where we uh, use this system of defining a problem, measuring the problem, analyzing the problem, improving it, and then controlling it. And to do that, I need to train you how to apply various tools of quality. Some tools will be relevant for the define phase, others will be relevant for the measure phase, analyze phase, control phase, and so on. Some tools will be relevant for more than one phase. To give you an example, one of my favorite concepts is control charts. I'm going to train you how to calculate lower specification limits and upper specification limits so that you can plot data according to that so that you can identify whether a point is out of control. And as you do that, you'll be able to move from this type of a curve to this type of a curve. And then once we accomplish that, we'll be able to analyze those points. We'll also be able to revise these specification limits. So that's one example. Uh, another thing we'll talk about in the course is acceptance sampling plans so that we can have a sampling plan that is science-based and one that makes sense where we consider the customer's requirements. Some customers have more stringent requirements than others, so I'll teach you the operating characteristic curve, how to do that, so that we can have faith that our sampling plan will work. Um, before we do all that, actually, I'll teach you basic tools of quality like Pareto charts that help us to identify the sources of variation. Um, also, I'll teach you things like how to construct a histogram properly that really illustrates the variation. Um, let's see, what else? I will also teach you the theorems of probability so that we can further identify causes of variation and tools like this. So in a nutshell, what we're doing is we're trying to minimize the variation of a process. We're going to use various tools that require, for the most part, math so that we can accomplish the Six Sigma process and get from a point that looks like this to one that looks like this. I'll look forward to seeing you Thursday morning, and I'll talk to you later.